yo what is everyone and welcome back to another video my name is joshua winkins in this video i want to go over how to create this really cool glow animation effect in final cut pro 10. now i've already made a video on the free pack and this video is about the actual paid pack now, i believe this pack costs about 50 dollars so if you want to buy it for yourself you can go ahead and use the link down in the description below i also have an affiliate link and if you use the code joshua wingens you will get five dollars off your order if you want to go ahead or if you like this effect like any of these effects definitely go ahead and check out the pack um, and this pack is from uh, Cinepack. what you're going to do you're just going to want to download the um, effects now this is not a plugin these are basically just overlays so do not put it into your like effects panel in your motions template these are just overlays and yes this one does actually cost money and it costs about $50. Now in this video I want to basically just break down all the different effects. This isn't going to be like a step by step tutorial. This is going to be more of me breaking down all the different effects, going over which effects I like, which effects I don't like, and hopefully some of these effects maybe um, interest you. Now a couple things to just keep in mind is you want to make sure that the blending mode is on screen. As you can see right here, all of the blending modes are on screen right here and what you're basically just doing if you haven't seen the first video is you're basically just keyframing as you can see right here this lightning bolt right here you're literally basically just keyframing the animation to make sure it stays in the place you want it to other than that make sure the blending modes on the screen and you just want to keyframe um, the different effects to make sure it sticks with the person so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go clip by clip and show you the just the names of all of the different effects right here so let's start with the first one right here. So what I just had right here was a lightning bolt effect, a curve one, an electric current, and a liquid curve right here. So let's go right here. So you have the lightning bolt right here, which is on Patrick Mahomes' helmet right here. As you can see right here, or actually that should be the lightning current. Make sure that's right. Okay, so that, that's the lightning. The lightning current is right there. So I'll show you the lightning current right here. So as you can see, it's going around his helmet. And then you have this lightning bolt right here. So that's the lightning bolt right there. And then you have this really cool pink curve, which is this right here. So let's go frame by frame and show you this really pink curve. I just kind of put it all over the place just to help make it look really cool. So that you have this really cool curve, which is like a pink curve called curve one. And then you have a liquid curve right here which is this liquid curve right there. So I kind of go frame by frame as you can see right here. I just kind of put it in really cool spots so it kind of just glowed all around him right there. So those are the effects right here. Lightning bolt, electric current, liquid curve, and then just curve one. Then what I did is I went onto curve or I did a curve chaos. So that's this green thing right here so as you can see right here it just kind of basically tracks to his body I thought that was a really cool interesting effect right here now I want to go to an electric current right here and the electric current is just around the football right here so it's basically being tracked with the football right here and then you just have this really cool smoke effect right here this is kind of an interesting effect right here as you can see this is what the smoke effect looked like right here now you want to go to the light speed, which the light speed is basically a form of transition. So a transition is what the light speed looks like right here. You have this really cool transition. And then you transition into the second clip right here. Now as you can see right here, you have a whole bunch of effects right here. So you first you have the cartoon blast right here. So you have this little blast right here. And then you have this trail right here, which goes around his body right there, as you can see. And then you have a curve right here, which goes around his helmet right here. So you have a curve three and then a trail and then a cartoon blast right there. So let's keep going frame by frame. And then you have this really cool zap right here this really cool just zap right there and then what I did right here is I went frame by frame and then I created this really cool swipe which the swipe is right there this little uh, red line right here and then I have this impact which goes on his hand right here so this right here is impact one and this right here is swipe right here so you have those different effects and then I just thought it'd be really cool to add a little bit of a skull animation right here so this is what it looks like right here you have this skull right here and this is what it looks like right there so what I did too was I added a little bit of a ring effect right here as you can see right here I just basically keyframed um, the scale right here or I didn't keyframe I just increased the scale to 100 uh, 520% right here 
so you have this really cool ring effect and then I basically just had this uh, snap and rise effect which the snap and rise effect is right there so that's what the snap and rise effect looks like right here and then right here the next clip right here you have this really really cool electric loop going around Patrick Mahomes head you have this really cool dollar sign right here and then you have this really cool speaker vibration right here which is around his helmet right there and then I just added this really cool like musical speaker notes um, right there so you have the wheel electric loop right here and you have this really cool dollar sign right there and this really cool animated music thing right there and then you have this really cool bat loop effect which is right here i thought that was a really cool effect it probably would be a good idea maybe if i scaled it up a little bit more but i thought it was a really cool effect and then you have right here this really cool electric curves which is another form of a transition and then we go into the third clip right here you have this electricity long which is basically going up his leg right here and then you have this really cool curve wild which is kind of just going all over his body and then right here you have this hoop um, energy loop right here which is basically just going which is circling around his body right there and then the last thing I had was this really cool um, bat transition effect. I thought that was a really cool um, little effect right there. And those are basically all of the effects right there. So I kind of want to break it down and show you the different effects I used in this really cool video. Yes, I probably went a little overboard um, with the glow animation, but I just want to show you some of the effects um, that I liked. And hopefully, some of these effects interest you. And if they do, definitely go ahead and head down in the description below and download this pack. So this is what all the pack comes with. And of course, there's a lot more effects, but these are the effects that I liked the best so anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you found it helpful and informative if you're new to this channel i upload final cut pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m eastern standard time so if you enjoy these types of videos consider hitting that subscribe button i also have a final cut pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 130 final cut pro 10 tutorials see you in the next one peace